Hi, today in this video I'll show you a free theme builder for Elementor that you can use with a free version of Elementor and you can design header and footer, single page, archive page, product page for free. So as you know in Elementor Pro we get a theme builder where we can design and create headers and footer, archive pages and product pages and I'll show you the same theme builder with a free version of Elementor. So let's see how. The first thing is you can just follow the link in the description which will take you to this page. Here as you can see Elementor widgets, templates kit and extension. Basically this is Royal Add-ons plugin with which you can create a timeline widgets, header and footers, pop-up builder, post slider and carousel, product slider and carousel, parallax, white label ready and filterable image gallery, image sliders and so on. And there are 50 plus pre-made templates, pop-up templates, advanced Google Maps, one page navigations and so on. And if you scroll down you will learn more about this plugin and its elements and uh, all of these are available for free as you can see and you can just download its free version so to download this you can just click on this and you can click on start download and after downloading just upload this to your wordpress so for that you can go to your wordpress dashboard and here you can go to plugins click add new and then click upload plugin choose file and select the file that you download so just click on open click install now and after activating the plugin this will take you to this page here you can just skip this and then this will take you to its templates that you can use for your website but the aim of this video is the theme builder so under royal add-ons you will see theme builder just go there and here you can scroll down so as you can see we got a theme builder where we can create header footer archive page single page product archive page product single page and so on and this is a free theme builder that comes up with this plugin now let's say you want to create a header so you can go to header you can just click on create template and give it a title so let's call this custom header click on create template then you can give it a condition so let's click on this and you can display this on entire website then click on save changes or save condition and this will open up Elementor page builder where you can start designing your header. Now you can design from scratch like you can grab a container or uh, let's say I want to use a three column layout. Here we can search for logo and this is our website logo by Ryan Adon. So just drag this and now you can choose an image like this and then you can choose another logo for data or mobile devices and here you can customize the site title so I don't want to display that you can change the alignment, the logo URL and so on I'll not cover everything in this video just to show you the theme builder so this is now our logo and then we can search for menu as you can see new menu so you can use this and you can just drag this and here you can choose your menu or you can also use its predefined styles that I'll show you later and here you can display a button or something so let's search for button and you can customize this now you can also go to royal add-ons and here you will see a number of templates that you can use like force grid and woocommerce grid woocommerce sliders and so on you can also filter these by these categories let's say we need a new menu so you can choose any of these menus and uh, we got a ready-made header so let's insert this and now we can remove this one and this is our header so basically this is a logo and this is the new menu and these are social icons that still you can customize with Elementor so let's say this is our header now and we can just update this and now if I visit this website in a new tab you can see that we have that header with the menu, the social icon and the logo. So this was how you can create a header and now you can go back and you can exit to your dashboard and now you can create a footer. So you can click on this and you can create template. You can call this custom footer and you can add a condition like the previous and save condition and this will open up Elementor where you can design your footer by the way I already have a video about footer so let's search for that 
So in this video I have used the same plugin for designing a footer. You can watch this video to create a footer. So we can have a 3 column layout again or a 4 column. And here we can display our logo, navigation, contact section and so on. And I'll just call this footer because I'm not going in much detail. You can watch my previous video for creating a footer. So this is our footer. I can just update this. And now if I visit the website. So and this is our new footer. We just call this footer. And that's it. That is how you can create a footer. And now let's exit to the dashboard. And here we can create an archive page for our blog post. So for that you can click on create template. You can call this any name like archive. Create template. And you can give it a condition. So this is for all archives. You can choose this for post archive, other archives and data archives and so on. Let's say we only want this on post. So we will choose this. We will save condition. And here we can create our post archives and as the template we can see all the royal advanced templates for the post. So you can create your own or you can just use any of these like post grid. And we can switch to free defined styles to use any of the design to make the video short. So let's use this one. I'll click insert. And these are our blog posts. So as you can see we have a filter and all the blog posts. And this is navigation which is load more. So again you can customize this based on your need. I already have videos about this also. And then you can just click on update. And this will be our archive page for our blog post. And then you can just exit your dashboard again. And the same goes for all of these like you can go to single. And here you can create a template for your single blog posts. Let's see how. Let's call this single. Create template. Add a condition. This is for the front page. Post page pages are posts. So we will choose posts. And here for all posts or you can pick a specific category. Then save condition. And here you can design your single page layout. Like you can display a post thumbnail. Then a post title. And post content. Also you can display things like post meta. So you can drag this. And you can customize these things like you can add other, you can add date, taxonomies, categories and so on. But this is just to show you that you can design your custom single page also. And again you can customize this like you can have multiple columns, you can display a sidebar here and so on. And that's it then just click on update and this will be your single archive page and this is dynamic. So this will be changed for every post. Then let's go back. And you can also switch to product archive. And you can create a product grid, a product KSL and so on. But for this website I don't have WooCommerce. So for that I'll have to install WooCommerce and we'll add some products. So you can go to my channel. And uh, let's go to videos. And in this video I showed you that how you can design custom product grid or a slider using free Elementor. So that is by using this Riley Dance plugins. You can follow this video to create an archive page or a single product page. And that's it. This was a free theme builder for Elementor using which you can create header, footer, archive pages, product archive pages and single pages and so on. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.